are beginning tonight with a protest at the Salinas Police Department aimed at the officers in the building just a few feet away. Dozens of people used today's national coalition to stop police brutality to send a message to Salinas Police after four officer-involved shootings this year. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live with details. Well, Aaron, protesters today citing two national movements, the first Stop Mass Incarceration Day, along with the October 22nd Coalition to Stop Police Brutality. Four Latino men were murdered by nine non-Latino men. But does not add up. Three coffins sending a message in front of the Salinas Police Department. Protesters lighting candles along with some small twigs and pieces of wood calling this a prayer fire. Represents all the killings uh, um, done by uh, uh, police officers. Dozens showing their anger about four fatal officer involved shootings. That anger only exacerbated by the release of the names of the officers responsible. All white officers kill all Latinos. What you supposed to believe? Frank Alvarado's son was killed in an officer involved shooting July 10th on Sanborn in Fairview. He says the tragedy has turned his family upside down, and that's why he's here tonight. They destroyed the families complete. Because you're talking about, you know, you go to go to sleep, you come out with a problem. You get up, you start another new day. And there's no such a thing about it. You forgot what happened. Organizer Ana Barrera told protesters to turn the upcoming election into a show of disapproval for the Salinas PD. So when you go vote in November, vote in solidarity with the community of Isla Salinas and vote no on Measure G and vote no on Measure H and stand, stand right, right next to our communities for those that are mourning right now. And we talked to the Salinas police officers tonight. They say they expected the protest outside their doors. They say it was peaceful. They didn't have to devote extra resources to handling it. And they say they, of course, respect the right to freedom of speech. Guys. Brittany, thank you. Uh, many of tonight's protesters call themselves activists, and they say they will continue to call for justice.